What's up guys? I'm here for Gintama episode 313. We got some flashbacks about the most important character, Mountain Zaki. And I want to see what happens in the present. Okita and Nobume, Gintoki and Obero, Katsura, Kondo still surrounded. I don't know where Matsudaira went. <laughs> I don't know if he's okay. Um, Elizabeth, Afro, and Hijikata are all going to where Katsura and Kondo are, but it's probably going to take a little bit to get there. So, yeah, there's a lot happening. Let's get into it and find out what's going to go down in 3, 2, 1, play. Don't know where Hard Boiled is. He's, he's just dead. <laughs> Thank you for the note, I know. <laughs> I had to remind people, because it's so strange. Hard to believe. Like, we're serious. It really is. Alright, so that was the preview. It was just the very first scene of the next episode. So, from here on out, what do we got? It's strange having these two long, serious arcs full of flashbacks back-to-back. -back. You usually get the comedic break, but I'm good with it. Because that arc led right into this, and it's good. Don't be pulling that trigger. Put down the gun, man. So we'll see what happens. As for Matsudaira dying, could happen as more, you know, of the new generation replace the old. But I feel like the Shogun's death. Hmm. Kind of feel like that puts pressure on, like, all of the other characters, even an old guy like Matsudaira, to stick around and do what he couldn't do and carry on his ideals. I don't think you need to I don't know if they would kill another guy right in the next arc. It would work. But I feel like they maybe want you to think that. Like, oh, we just killed the Shogun. What's going to happen now? But then he'll survive. At this point, I'm worried for hard-boiled guy, oddly enough. <laughs> I don't know where he went. He might be planning some kind of suicide attack. Part 6. Undelivered mail. Like his emails? Oh, they get delivered. It's just that nobody cares. I hope our child will be like that. Is that what it said? Oh, yes. Very high-tech flip phone. Ooh. Sasaki family backstory. Wife shit. A child. What if she died in childbirth? What if the child died too? Oh my god. Wouldn't that be the worst? It's crazy, because he's a gorilla stalker. But it's great to see him be so important and influential in the serious moments and in the flashbacks. Naughty naughty. Nobunobu's father. Wow.
And you gotta bring this guy into it. Get him out of there. Any day now. Okay. What's going to happen there? Ugh. I'm worried. That child? Gintoki. Flat twist! Got him. Oof. That's still putting up a fight. He's still got a gun on him, right? He could keep firing. Nah, we need a new name. Hi. For your child. I don't think it's you're gonna need one, dude. Unfortunately. Damn. We were in a bad spot in the last arc, too. There was a lot of blood, a lot of close calls, but, you know, we made it out. They're coming. Help is on the way. They got Matsudaira, too, but it, it's going to be fine. Is there even a chance for Sasaki to change his mind and change his ways? Maybe. Where's his brother in all this? I guess he doesn't matter that much. <laughs> Shin Sengumi! Oh, whoa, whoa! Look at that! Hey, there they are! Nice. Whoa! Oh! Nice. Thank you. Oh, Elizabeth's kicking ass. There you go. All right. Hey, nice. Very good point as well. <laughs> Elizabeth cradling Katsura down there. Right, everybody's together.
Nobody's dying here, but let's go. I really want to know now what happened with his wife and child. I mean, obviously nothing good. But I want to know. Whoa! Oh my god. <laughs> In the mouth. A little Zoro action. Even though Zoro's over there fighting Sasaki. Ooh. Got the blade. Didn't cut her. I didn't expect the sympathetic backstory for him, but I guess maybe I should have. And now we have her and her little donuts. Oh, scary children. Is she sharing? Damn. Bastard child of death itself. That sounds badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, both. Can we just have both? Mm-hmm. Maybe she just left him. Maybe she just took the baby and left him and they're actually okay. Although I kind of doubt it. Whoa! Nice! Ooh! All right. Like, this is cool, but, you know, we got a good Gintoki fight last arc. I want to see this, too, and I'm sure it'll be good, but... Kind of more eager to see... The, the central focus of this arc, these guys. Damn. Getting the kids involved is even more messed up. On the very first mission. Obviously, they survived. So I want to see what the hell's going to happen here. Ah, uh, beware of the children. You can't trust them. Children are creepy. What if, like, what if he strays from the path, Sasaki, and he, like, helps them, and as punishment, they, they, they like, kill his wife and child? Or just wife and child's not born yet kill his pregnant wife like what if whoa 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 what if that happens and so from then on he's like no we can't we must we must abide by the law and do whatever it takes to get the mission done and i don't know i hope it answers the question before this episode's over because i actually really want to know don't trust the child! 
Oh, what the fuck? Nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. You're a good kid. See, okay, yeah. He seemed to do that to, I guess, alert them to danger and get them a little more prepared, so it seemed. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he was... All right, they, they, they planned that together. All right, good job. Okay. That's it. Oh, yeah, he, he had a baby girl. She was born. But then what happened? I mean, does he just have, like, a wife and daughter at home? And we just didn't know. Maybe that's all there is to it. And I've been blowing it out of proportion. His daughter's not anyone that we know, right? Because they keep building up a name. As if they're going to reveal the name and it's going to be, like, mind-blowing. So I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, he was his wife was pregnant at the time. He was probably uh, kind-hearted towards the kids because of that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, no, he thought of a name just in time for them to die. What was the name you were going to give her? Oh, no, oh, no. Ooh... Oh man, shit. The Red Moon? Did this happen because of what you did? Because you helped them? That would be so fucked. Damn! Wh okay. Wow. What a what a great shot panning up to her standing on top of that. I guess I didn't expect this much uh, good backstory for him, but th that is good, yeah. That makes him much more interesting. I gotta know the name that he thought of, like we've been building up this name reveal. Damn. So yeah, that's why the Naraku are doing their own thing. Working on a different mission.
Damn. So you guys can work together then. Just like Intoki and Takasugi eventually can. Maybe Kag uh, Kama we can come along with Kagura. You can all join forces. But you didn't kill her. Wow. Pretty good massacre from such a little kid. Hey, there you go. One good influence in her life. Even if it was a small, short moment. Foreshadowing? Almost definitely. I feel like that's extremely likely to happen. I mean, maybe maybe they won't. Maybe she'll realize there's another way. But it could be definite setup. Totally possible. Oh, the tears. Right. Oh, damn. What? No! <laughs> okay, looking back on it, I, I realize now Nobume is the name for the daughter, which, wow, that's huge. I, I, at the time, you can understand, I think, my distraction in seeing that scene of Carnage and then seeing Nobume and then him saying the name Nobume while she's on the screen. I was focused on that. I didn't realize, okay, that's what he meant. He was meaning the baby. So that was going to be his daughter's name, which he gave to her. I, I just didn't expect such a good backstory for Sasaki. Maybe I should have seen something like that coming, but wow. And that changes everything with him. Like, I want to go back and watch his introduction arc and whatever little bits he's been in the show before now, knowing everything that we know now. And I mean, turning the email thing into such a, a crucial part of the revelation, like obviously we know, oh, he's got this wife and child on the way. Uh, things are not going to end well. You know that immediately. But he's always had this email gag and turning like the moment of revelation when he finds all the dead bodies and his uh, presumably wife and child as well, like, he's trying to send an email and it's not working. Like, the title, Undelivered Mail, oh, the funny email joke, but then it's actually really serious and heartbreaking. Yeah. That was brutal. And then the, uh, the fucking revelation that Nobume did it? Like, oh my god, what the fuck? She's working with him this whole time? And... <laughs> I guess she killed his wife and baby. <laughs> oh, holy shit! But like, he he obviously realized even in the moment. Because when I saw that, I was like, how, how how does he not kill her immediately? But he realized right away, like, okay, she's obviously not the real problem. The problem is much deeper, and he even considers himself part of the problem and wants to die at the end of this. So either that's gonna happen, and we're setting up that she will eventually kill him, or. I, I could probably see it going in that they realize that it's better for him to live on and that their relationship doesn't have to be based on blood and killing. He might die another way. Might die in some kind of sacrifice. I don't know. But yeah, this like changes everything for him. 
makes the Naraku's involvement make more, more sense. And I was saying that uh, Nobume will have a change of heart, but it seems like we're going to get like the Mimowari Gumi as a whole on their side at some point as well. So that's fucking awesome. That was real tragic, though. Like, my God, what a what a game changer of a backstory for this character. Like, total 180 for him, pretty much. And really, really dark. Like, I'm... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.